In this video, you're going to hear the secrets of how to crush the river raid. I'm going to tell you a lot of stuff that people won't tell you. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel, where we give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, so for the first thing with the river raids is that the Yom's Vikings are basically trash. That they're worthless, essentially, in the river raids. So you only want to use the Yom's Vikings to open big chests. So don't bother hitting the raid button when you see it. Instead, have Eivor jump out of the boat, stealth around or go in guns a-blazing, and uh, kill all the foes. And then once you've killed all the foes, go back to the ship and then hit the raid button, and then uh, none of your Yom's Vikings will die, right? So the Yom's Vikings are terrible fighters, and you'll spend your whole time and all your rations trying to revive them. And they'll probably die anyways. Uh, and and while they don't really die, they do come back after a few raids. It's just too much hassle to deal with. So much easier. Have Eivor kill everybody and then call in the Yom's Vikings. The other secret is you uh, can level up your lieutenant by initiating raids and then quickly abandoning them so you go to the, you pay your 50 silver and say hey we want to raid this location you go through the half a minute of video and then you go to your wheel and go to the settlement symbol and then bank your loot which you've not looted anything because you just got on the river and then and then you do that enough times i think it's probably less than 10 to totally level up your uh Lieutenant. So leveling up your Yums Vikings gives them more rations. That being said, I probably would not use my leveled up Yums Vikings because it's too uh, much of a hassle uh, to deal with them while the, because they're so bad at fighting. But still nice to have a high level lieutenant. The other thing is you don't want to raid the minor locations because that raises the alert level on the river. So you probably just want to avoid those locations at first until you've kind of totally dominated the whole area. There's three different areas. There's three different rivers. Uh, you have to get the clues to get the third river, which will give you the sword and the shield for the St. George's set. And the first two rivers will give you two of the armor pieces and those are random they'll find those in big chests at large enemy bases right so there's the small camps you'll get foreign supply like one foreign supply in the large enemy bases will give you like three foreign supplies and you can only use foreign supplies to level up your yams viking hut or to level up your ship so i'm you know i think you'd either want to level up your ship first with your foreign supplies uh, so you could get a, a higher capacity because 200 goes pretty fast and you basically can do one small camp and one large base a run. You don't, there, if you, the other thing that people won't tell you is that if you only do two out of the three chests in a large camp, a large base, then you're going to have to re-raid that again and it's going to be full of all enemies again. So you definitely want to stop when you can't, actually defeat the base you want to go back and end the end the raid so go to the wheel and go back to the settlements so even if you're not totally full but if you're thinking of like raiding uh, a major camp you won't get credit for that camp now if if you're just farming foreign supplies i guess that's okay and you won't mat it it won't matter to you but if you want to actually defeat the camp make sure you have enough supply capacity on your long ship uh, otherwise you're gonna have to redo it the next time you have an empty long ship so the you need 450 for the first level up and then 750 for the next level up for the foreign supplies now your lieutenant will level up by raiding but to level up your yams vikings to level three you need to put supplies into the hut i think the first upgrade is like 200 maybe it's 400 and then the second one is 600 so you could have level three yams vikings and then you ring the bell uh and some of those will be higher level yams vikings some will be lower level you look at the number uh by their name and only recruit the ones at the higher level. You know, the higher level costs a little bit more, but not that much more. Uh, you can easily get the silver to recruit, you know, seven Yalms Vikings of every level in like five minutes, going to London and doing the beggar Raven glitch. 
I'll, I'll put a little link here, but you really don't make much silver doing these raids, so I would totally go for the, the best glitch in the game while you're playing it. Uh, I wouldn't do this for uh, silver. I'd do it for foreign supplies uh, and the St. George's set. But I still think even if you got the level 3 Yams Vikings... Now, note, those Yams Vikings, those have to be from the special Yams Viking hut that you create after River Raids, which is separate from the barracks, which you use to create your lieutenant. And I don't think you can switch out your lieutenant, so you'd have to use that uh, leveling up the lieutenant by just doing a, a River Raid and then quickly abandoning it to the settlement, and in no time you'll have a level 3 lieutenant. But for the, the other seven people on the crew, uh, I think you need to level up your new Yams Viking uh, barracks that has the bell, and then just keep on ringing the bell until you have all seven of the, the other crew members are of the max level that you can make at that time. And, I mean, the other thing is the foreign defenses. Uh, the defenses increase as you raid one river, so you are supposed to uh, change between the rivers, and it did get a little silly when I ignored that, and the number of enemies I ended up killing in the, the base, it was just it was out of hand. It wasn't hard. It was just time consuming. So the the only river defenses that you really need to worry about are the chains. So if you do see a chain, take out the chain. But otherwise, if they have those little wooden things, you can smash through those wooden things. So don't bother to kill the guys on the side or anything. Just just smash through those uh, those wooden things in the river and Keep on going. Don't let those worry you. The only benefit to going to the farms uh, as opposed to the monasteries where you get clues uh, to find the third region uh, or or camps, large and small, which have foreign supplies, which you can use to increase your Yams Viking levels, or you can use to increase your carrying capacity on your ship, or buy cosmetics or tattoos from Vaughn's shop. Hopefully Vaughn is going to upgrade his shop, and Vaughn's shop is eventually going to have, like, the Ubisoft Connect store armor and weapons the same way that Reda does, so that would be another way to keep people playing the game uh, through the, the river raids when they're done with the river raids. So just look for the yellow icons for the new abilities uh, that you can get from the river raids. You know, I don't know if these are great abilities or not that they add for the river raids. I, I tend not to use most of the abilities that we get so i i you know i collect the abilities but are these killer abilities that you want to use probably not but you might as well get those uh while you're at it especially if you've got all the abilities in the main game the other thing that nobody mentions is that your rations that you have in the regular game don't work in river raids and so you have to get rations in river raids that being said you won't need rations because if you don't use your Yams Vikings, you're not going to use any rations except for Eivor occasionally and you'll have plenty of rations. But if you use your Yams Vikings, then you're always going to need rations. So for that reason, you want to avoid farms and, and like fishing huts and stuff like that until you've completed all the bases because they're only going to give you rations and you're not going to need rations. You'll get plenty of rations from the bases uh, while you're shooting them with your predator bow because nobody's going to touch you. You're just going to slaughter the guys in the bases. And then you call in the Yams Vikings and there's nobody for the Yams. The Yams Vikings aren't going to need any rations. So the ration system is, is pretty awful in, in River Raids. But, you know, if you don't use your Yams Vikings, who cares about rations? But that's the only downside of abandoning a mission is that you lose all your rations at the end of the mission and then you go back to the ration system for the regular game which you know if you had full rations when you left you'll have full rations when you get back but then when you do another river raid you'll have zero rations and you have to build your rations again which you'll never be able to build if you use the Yams Vikings to kill people instead of opening chests. I'm Linus Wilson. Subscribe. We give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla.